Hello students, welcome to Tutitude. We have the notification SSC CHSL. You see the SSC portal, every time there will be some notification. So majorly every year we will be getting the notifications like CGL which is graduate level, CHSL which is intermediate level or higher secondary level okay like plus two level it is after that MTS examination which is SSC level okay that means when you have the 10th qualification 10th standard qualification you can apply for this okay or GD constable notification and SSC junior engineer also okay so these are the compulsory notifications every year okay so like they will fix the examination calendar on the same dates only the notification will be coming generally okay so this is the recent SSC CHSL notification okay so you see the qualification for this is a plus two okay if you have plus two or intermediate in some states okay you can apply for this one let's see complete information about this posts okay number of vacancies are so 4500 approximately they have mentioned so in the in the notification itself they have mentioned 4500 but you see ssc portal recently central government has okay so given the details so one lakh okay so more than one lakh posts we will be recruiting from the ssc portal okay so they have mentioned already okay 70000 plus vacancies okay so already they have established they have given to the uh, so in press note okay so, and you see one more thing recently ssc gd they have released for the 24000 of posts only but they have extended they have increased the number of vacancies to 45000 okay that means this also okay so like for this 4500 also it can increase a little bit okay so in ssc every time there will be recruitment okay so every year there will be one or two recruitments definitely okay in each and every department okay name of post let's see lower division clerk ldc junior secretariat assistant jsa okay so data entry operator grade a data entry operator deo okay these are the four different posts generally okay so ldc jsa so deo grade a so deo these are the four posts okay so let's see the Pay scale for this, okay. So 19,900 rupees to okay, 63,200 rupees for the posts of lower division clerk or secretary, junior secretariat assistant, okay. So it is pay scale is this one, okay. So for the post of data entry operator of grade A, the A the pay scale will be so 25,500 rupees to 81,100 rupees okay so another post data entry operator level 5 post it is okay level 5 pay scale it is 29,200 rupees to 92,300 rupees okay so age limit for each and every post will be okay so 18 to 27 and there will be age relaxation okay so if you are belonging to OBC category 3 years is the age relaxation if it is ST ST okay SC and ST it is 5 years of age relaxation if you are belonging to okay so pwbd category 5 to 10 years of age relaxation okay it is okay so total 27 plus 3 okay so 27 plus 5 27 plus 10 to 15 okay according to your category okay so essential academic qualifications qualifications okay so as on january 4th 2023 okay so by january 4th 2023 the candidate must passed okay so must passed 12th standard or equivalent examination from recognized board or university okay so whoever completed the diploma also okay you can check once okay you can apply or not okay you can apply diploma students can apply for this one and you can check once okay the candidates must possess essential qualification on or before the cutoff date okay so before this date only we have to get that qualification okay so now scheme of examination if you see okay so this is computer based examination computer based examination means okay so it is a cbt okay like we will be writing online examination it is not a pen and paper examination so in tire one okay first we will see the tire one after that we will discuss about tire two okay so tire one is we will be having four parts okay so four parts 
part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 part 1 is general english language it is okay english language next general intelligence next quantitative aptitude next general awareness okay so this is are the four subjects we will be having english language which is at basic knowledge it is with is 10th standard almost it is okay so 10th standard level only so ssc level it is it is in this we have to concentrate little bit okay so general intelligence and reasoning it is okay so general intelligence means it is the concepts of reasoning okay so next quantitative aptitude the concepts of aptitude general awareness okay so general awareness means we will be having polity history geography economy and physics chemistry and biology with some current affairs also okay current affairs and current issues okay so these are the topics will be will be getting in this general awareness each and every topic is having 25 questions and each and every question is having two marks that's why total it is 50 okay so total two uh, for 200 marks it is okay so 200 marks and 100 questions within one hour we have to complete the examination okay so within one hour or 60 minutes we have to complete the examination okay so for the special candidates okay special candidates means whoever belonging to okay so for this uh, para 8 8.1 and 8 8.2 so okay whoever eligible for the scribble okay or scrib okay so they can write for 80 minutes only okay that is for the physically challenged okay category people so for 60 minutes only examination okay so dates for the submitting online applications December 6th only application started and by January 4th we have to complete okay so by January 2023 uh, we have to complete this application okay application fee will be 100 rupees for general EWS OBC candidates and nil for the women or SCST and PWBD candidates okay so generally any SSC exam okay 100 rupees for the OBC is obc and general oc category and ews category remaining all okay so women including women category okay so we will not be getting we will not having any examination fee okay so where we have to apply we have to apply in a website in a in a website only okay so this is ssc.nic.in only in this website you apply okay so don't apply in everywhere so this is the only website you have to apply for the examination okay application will be opening in this so in that you can apply okay so one any registration is there all those things you can check and apply okay so in our 2t2 okay so we have already so this are this is only tier one okay so this is tier one only so we have already opened this course okay and we are giving uh, with uh, all the experienced faculties uh, for all polity geography history okay so and uh, we will be having a uh, very good faculty for this so general intelligence that means reasoning and quantitative aptitude okay so and uh, so we can check all our subjects once okay so before taking our course only okay we can check all the all the content uh, then only we can take okay so this is uh, especially okay so to get the tier one examination qualifier remember Remember, whenever you qualify tier 1 examination then only you can write the tier 2 examination after tier 2 examination only you will be getting the post okay so anyway qualifying in tier 1 is a must okay so it is very much essential to get the job okay so tier 2 will be automatically you will be preparing first we have to concentrate on tier 1 okay so examination will be okay so examination will be after three months okay so within the three months not after within three months examination will be okay so anyway you start your preparation for this CHSL examination. So that means if you have if you have the qualification like intermediate or plus two, okay. So or if you have completed graduation or if you have completed any of the higher qualification also, you can apply for this post, okay. So there is no problem and start your preparation, okay. So we are already having so many students preparing for this post, okay. So you, you also start your preparation and get this post, okay. So and this preparation will be useful for your. CGL examination also. Okay. So anyway, all the best. Thank you so much.